So I wanted to come today to talk about a little bit about what's on my mind and what's on my heart, just the musings of my heart, really. And it's just more of, you know, maybe a little bit of, of a dream that I had, some dreams that I've had, and then, and then a little bit as far as, you know, the church, what's going on with the church. How, how, how is it that there is just, <laughs> the, 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 the church is so dead. It's just so dead. And it's just, just, you sit back and you wonder why. But before I get all I get into all that, let us pray real quick. Thank you, Father, so very much for today. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Before we say anything, we invite your presence to be with us, to speak to all of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So today I wanted to just talk about, about the church, the church of God, the bride of God. The apple of God's eye, the, 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 the only institution and organization on this planet that he is really particular, he's really careful, he's, his, his heart is into. And you know, I was just sitting back and wondering the other day, how is it, it just, you know, I've learned so much in these few days and weeks, I've learned so much. And, and how I just wondering like how is it that the church the church of God has no power how is it that the apostles God used only 12 people 12 men and some other women to turn the world upside down for him how is it that today when you say to someone that I'm a Christian no one bats an eye no one shudders like it's just like okay whatever nothing like if we really, really understood the power of God, if we really, really understood who it is we're dealing with as far as God, if we really, really understood the creator of the universe, heaven and earth, the one who literally has all power, the one who just the very name, just his name alone makes Satan shudder. The ones that the very name alone, when you mention that name, all hell freezes, all hell stops, all demons, all devils, Satan himself stops in his tracks. How is it that we serve such a being and yet the church is without power? We have no power. Christians today, my brother and my sister, Christians today, unfortunately, have become just spectators. We have become spectators and basically our preachers have turned into entertainers. And what we expect is to just go and sit and be entertained and go home. And we have no connection with Christ. The church is dead. The love of God is dead in the church. The love of mission, because we have a commission. God has commissioned you and me to tell others about him, to bring others into the kingdom of God. And yet, the church has no power. It's dead. There's no love for the mission that God is giving us. And there's no love for one another. Instead, what we have the love for, all the love that we're supposed to have for God, the mission and the people have been transformed into loving the world, the things in the world, the people in the world, the things of the world. And so you and I, I was just sitting wondering like, how is it that we have no power? I'm telling you my brother and my sister, and I just learned this a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> there is nothing that is done on this planet, whether in the world, or in the church without power. And I posted a, a video as far as just, you know, the witch, witches and wizards and occultists being behind the pulpits. But I'm telling you that everything, even in the world, everything that is done in the world that you see is not just happening willy-nilly. Everything that is done in the world, these high people that are for lack of a better word, that have that have chosen the side, that have chosen Satan as his mass as their master to serve him and, and bring about his kingdom and his purposes, 
these people summon demons to get power. They are working with power. They don't just do anything willy nilly or without. They are moving about daily in their lives with power. And guess where they got the powers from? They summon demons and get the powers from them so they can move the masses. So they can do the operations, so they can bring things in, 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 in into being. I mean, I mean, I was just think, also thinking like, how is it that so many people just are just oblivious, just completely not there? It's because there's a power working on their minds. The people that we call like, you know, for lack of a better word, following the masses in the world, just going with, 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 with the flow and what the, the mainstream media is saying. It's not by chance. It's not by accident. It's not that they don't have a mind. There's a power at play over their minds. And that is powers that the world has summoned to operate on the masses. So how is it that you and me serve a church, serve a God that is the power, yet you and I have no power? How is it? It boggles my mind. It grieves my soul. It hurts me. I cannot tell you the depth of disappointment that God feels about his church. I was thinking about this last week and it was just like so depressing. How is it that we have no connection with God? Pray for me as I pray for you so that we can allow God fully into our lives, fully to take control of his church so that he can work. God was telling ancient Israel, he didn't really, ma he manifested some of his power to them when he got them from Egypt and did all those miracles. The Holy Spirit manifested a little bit of his power. But God told them because of their unbelief, because of their, their detachment from him, they, had, they, they literally like bound his hands. They just literally limited him. You and I today, in our lackadaisical way, in our deadness, are limiting God. <laughs> the Holy Spirit, the apostles, when the Holy Spirit came on the apostles, especially Peter and Paul and James and John and the rest of them and Matthew, all of them, when the Holy, the Holy Spirit so fully possessed Peter, <laughs> my goodness, I mean, it's mind boggling. He so fully possessed Peter that just by walking, just the shadow of the Holy Spirit within Peter possessing him, just that alone healed the sick. Healed the sick. And here in Matthew, in Mark, we've been commissioned to go out there to preach the gospel, to heal the sick. To raise the dead. Did you hear that? To raise the dead. To lay hands on the sick and they will recover. To point people to Jesus Christ. You and I are not doing that. And so how do we get out of this deadness? Because I'm telling you, the world know the power that they have. And that's the power of Satan. And they're using it. They are using it to the max. They understand, the world understand that nothing moves without power. And Satan has made sure that you and me in our, church, just in our churches today have just simply become spectators. We just sit in there watching, being entertained, and then we go home. And then we repeat the cycle week after week, month after month, year after year. And we're okay with that. And I'm not. And I pray to God that he allows you and me to open our hearts and our minds to, 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 so that he can fill us with his power. <clears throat> but a time is coming. God is just simply going to be fed up. He's almost to that limit where he's fed up. He's just simply going to take his army. When you read in Revelations, his 144,000 army, he's going to literally take them. And turn the world upside down with that 144,000. I want to be one of them. Do you? Do you? 
I'm telling you, nothing on this planet moves without power. The people in the world understand that very, very well. The powers that be understand that very, very well. Those that work with principalities and powers and demons understand that very, very well. And in order for the demons and the principalities and the powers and even Satan himself to have influence over the ma minds of masses, the people in his, the people in his, in the people in his, in his, in his, the people, the people that are part of him. Or the people that he's put in different organizations and people in, in, in different places, in high, high positions, guess what they do? Every day, every night, they summon your principalities and your powers and your demons and they give them the power. Or they summon the demons, bring them into being, into reality, and then they send them over the masses. You and I don't have to do that. We just simply have to allow God to take sin out of our lives. We just simply have to allow God to remove selfishness out of our lives so that he can fill the heart. He can be the, the, on the throne of the heart so that he can take full and total possession of the mind and the heart so that he can send you and me. So this is what I've been, I've been, I've been pondering over, thinking over, meditating over how is it that you and I have no power in the church when we serve an all-powerful being, an all-powerful being who just, does, not even him flexing his power, but just the very name alone, hell stops in its tracks just by his name because they know, they know who they're dealing with. Satan knows the power of God. Satan knows the power of Jesus. He understands that very, very well. But unfortunately, you and I don't. And so we've become spectators. May God help you and me. May God help us. Wake us up, shake us up to the, the, the day, the time, the hour, the moments that we are living in. I had a dream. I had a dream that I want to share. And this dream... I'm not going to mention, I'm not going to mention the specific individual. And I'm, I'm before I say this dream, I also want to say that I don't mean, I don't want any harm to come to, to come to any human being. I love everyone. We are commissioned to love even our enemies. I don't have any enemies. I love everyone. The, 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 the only enemy I have, which is the enemy of both you and me, which the Apostle Paul says, we fight not against flesh and blood. There is no one on this planet, a human being on this planet, that is your enemy or my enemy. Our enemy is not seen. Can't see it. Right? And so I say this without any wanting harm or wishing harm to anyone. But the dream that I had, a very, 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 very prominent world leader was assassinated this was a couple of days ago a very 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 prominent leader was assassinated and i wonder so oh so this this next person in line is going to be the next president and it's going to be very historic but i'm just i'm just going to leave it there and you make of it what you will but yeah a very prominent world leader very prominent world leader in who is <laughs> part of the, 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 the huge G7 nations, very prominent. He was assassinated. Just like that. I don't know what to make of it. I just had the dream. You decide <laughs> with it what you want to make of that. And, you know, if, I hope that it doesn't happen, but if it happens, then the next person in line is going to be very historic. Very, very historic. And that's a clue for you there. Um, you make of it what you will. Another one that I had was very, very scary. I was just, I found myself in a very short one, very brief, short one. But it was very, very, very disturbing and very thought-provoking. Very, very thought-provoking and just, you know, something we need to pray over. I had a dream and I just found myself in a classroom. 
with a bunch of kids. But what I saw <laughs> was very scary. <laughs> this, I was definitely in the U.S., in a classroom with a bunch of kids, classroom in, with a bunch of kids in the U.S. But every single one of those kids, the U.S. children in the classroom in the United States were holding the Chinese flag. Make of it what you will. They were holding the Chinese flag in the, in the classroom on U.S. soil. Make of it what you, what you will. I just wanted to just share this dream that I had. But as far as, you know, coming back to what I was saying earlier, let us pray to God so that he allows us to do for us what needs to be done because he is sitting there itching and waiting and dying for to pour his power and his spirit in you and me. But yet, we are distracted by the world, the things of the world, the people in the world, our jobs, our children, our families. We are so completely spread out and apart and God is the last thing on our minds when it shouldn't be. And so let's pray that God helps you and me to make him the center of our heart and our minds. I am just as distracted as you are. Please pray for me as I pray for you because I need the same prayer that God will, will, will have mercy on me and on you so he can use us to his glory because it is going to be you and me that he uses or people in the world that he uses. He used their apostles were human beings like you and me, but he used them to turn the world upside down, inside out. To this day, you and I are talking about them. To this day, we are followers of Jesus Christ because of those 12 that God used. And he's going to do the same. He is going to do the same and more. The only thing that kind of like, like that kind of like comforted me, the only thing that kind of like gave me hope, I was just about to just despair, like trying to, to get the message out. YouTube is not, is making sure your, your videos don't go anywhere. Facebook is making sure that you're being shadow banned. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, shadow banned. Even though you make the post, not one single person, even though there are 5 billions and billions and billions of people on these social media sites, when you make one single post, not one person sees it. What do you call that? That's being shadow banned. And I'm just wondering, Lord, how is this message going to get out? With these platforms and these organizations making sure that it's not getting out. And the thought just came into my mind. The 140 and 4,000 army that he's preparing to take the message to the world. And it will shock the world. YouTube, Facebook, the rest of them are going to be obsolete when he makes up his number. When God makes up that 144,000 number army, those organizations are going to be obsolete. He is literally going to take his children from country to country, state to state, village to village, boom, boom like pick them up from your home, plant them here. Not, no transportation. You hear and then you're there. You hear and then you're there. And the army are going to speak with, they're going to speak all the languages of the world. Those are just two of the powers that it's going to give them. Can you imagine the rest? Like you in your house and boom, you're in, in, in Karachi or you're, you're in Paris or you're at, where? In Holland. Speaking the Holland language. Speaking French. Speaking Deutsch. Speaking whatever language. Preaching the gospel. God is going to do that and more. And so let us pray, my brother and my sister, wherever you are, that we allow ourselves for God to do the work through us and in us for his glory. May he protect you. May he bless you. May he guide you and keep you. May he keep you in him until that is accomplished for his name. Until next time.